Down with you. <laughs> I didn't know Edgar could do subterranean acrobatics. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 and 9 Alpha 21.1. This is the Dead is Dead series. I'm an old guy gaming. We are on life three still, and uh, day 10 towards the end. And we're going to pretty much pick up right where we left off in the last episode and uh, keep working jobs. Um, if we're fortunate and our timing goes well, wait, I don't want to go that way, um, we can possibly get that green bow before the trader closes tonight. It just depends on how quickly we can knock this next job out. Um, also, by the time you guys see this, I will be on my business trip. Um, I'll be in Dallas um, all next week. So I might get be able to get one more video out after this, um, which I'll schedule while I'm gone. Or this might be the last one until I get back on the 24th. So, well, I get back on the 23rd, but I won't be able to get another video out until the 24th. So just a quick reminder for everybody on that. There's like lots of Zeeks around. Okay. Let's deal with these yahoos first. Starting with the biggest Yahoo of them all, our buddy Edgar. Down with you. <laughs> I didn't know Edgar could do subterranean acrobatics. That's impressive. <laughs> oh, man. I just kind of made my morning. That's funny. <laughs> you never know what to expect from this game, man. I'll tell you what. That's awesome. Okay, anyway, let's dispatch Arlene here. <laughs> I love it, man. That is just hilarious. <clears throat> Edgar has brought me lots of joy this game in, in the, from the standpoint of humor. Oh, nice miss there. Marlene, you want in on the action too, huh? Okay, let's get a bleed going on you first. If I can hit you. Okay. <clears throat> Thimble baseball bat. Okay. <laughs> I'm still chuckling about that. That's just awesome. Okay, anyway, big buns. I this is I guess it's like a burger joint or something. I don't know if I've actually been in here, you guys. I've seen it before, you know, like ridden by it and stuff. So this could be a fun new experience. There's so many POIs in this game now. Uh, you know that I still haven't done all of them. All right, let's check. Oh, I guess we've already looked in there before. So we check the dumpster. We've looked in there before, too. Yeah, I know I've come back through the back alleyway here. Clay. We don't need clay. We don't really need that stuff either. Okay. Let's just get started here. All right, that's not... A lootable vehicle. What is this? This is a clear and retrieve. We'll check the working steps again. Hey, we got ourselves a harvesting tool. We can now make iron tool quality one. I have a, a quality two uh, iron pick back at the base that I don't carry it around with me because the uh, the stone act gets the job done and it's it's multi-purpose. I mean, I, I will eventually once I get the, the better quality iron tools, but uh, and you know get some more spaces op opened up and stuff like that in our inventory. Okay, did we check this? No, we didn't. All right, so we just waltz right on in the front door, huh? Let's make sure everybody's loaded. Hello. Possible Zeke in there. Oh, shit. It's Jiggly. Let's wait for her to open the door a little bit better, and then I'm going to give her some shotgun pellet sandwich. Come on, Jiggly. There you go. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, we got a skill point. Um, Oh, that's right. We can make the freaking uh, workbench now. Okay, that's what we'll do later if we if we have time. 
I forgot about that. But I want to get this job done and get uh, to the trader before they close so we can get that bow. Um, yeah, okay, we'll get rid of all that stuff. Since the door is still intact, let's keep it that way. And you know what? Um, I'm, well, are we hungry? Yeah. Let's eat for health. Well, and, and for food, too. We are hungry. And we'll save the bandage. But I'm a little bit on the low side with the health there, so it's a bit concerning. Okay, there's a Marlene in there. Can't. Oh, this is this is a strip joint. <laughs> I thought this was a burger joint. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, strip joint, burger joint, same thing. Oh, sort of. <laughs> of course, I don't know if there's if I've ever seen any pole dancing in McDonald's, but you know. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> the loot's right there, too. Alright, I have two red dots this way. Um, they're both obviously, well, not obviously, but likely behind the counter. Question is, can we get any freebies, freebie shots? Hmm, I don't know if there's anybody in there or not. Well, actually, there probably isn't because we don't see the red dots. Oh, you know what? I think I have actually been in here before. Now that now that I look at the place a little more closely. Do we have any lock picks? No. All right. All right, so we need to see if we can get any more sneaky sneaks off on anybody. There's probably Zeke's behind those curtains in that room. Okay, so there isn't anybody behind the counter here. There's probably somebody in that room, maybe, and then potentially in this back room. Or they could be in the ceiling. Let's get the water. A couple of things of beer, that's nice. All right, let's go back here. Oh shit, that's a feral, or, yeah, a white guy. Not a white guy. <laughs> Not a white guy, a feral white guy. Never mind. I'll quit while I'm behind. Um, I'm not screwing around with him, man. Yeah, he is a feral white. I think all the whites are feral, though, anyway. I don't want to use firearms because of the noise. Get one more shot off on him and then we'll repair this. Okay. I hear more sleepers, obviously, but I don't know if they're in here or somewhere else. So let's very carefully go into this back room. Keep our shoddy at the ready here. Ooh. Starting to see more and more red dots. It's a little, little bit nerve wracking. Don't 
see anybody in this particular room, though. Okay, let's just put that there. I'm going to at least close that in case we get anybody coming from the other side. Hey, look at that. We actually found some beer in the alcohol uh, boxes. That's a... Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's happened before, but usually we just get water out of those. Well, that was good. Here's another cooking magazine, and uh, we'll save that stuff, I guess. More beer. All right, cool. Did they change that, or have I just had some really bad RNG in the past on that stuff? Yeah, I don't see anything up above there. Oh, that just goes outside. Okay. Um, you know what we could do? Door is unlocked. Um, let's get this out of the way so we have some room to maneuver here. A freebie here. <laughs> okay, now can we do that? Now we still could have more Zeeks in this back room here. Okay. I wasn't sure what we were up against since we just fought a feral white. That's why I upgraded this. Better to be safe than sorry. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> this is where the the boss is sitting in the back room and look through the two-way mirror. Make sure nobody's cheating. Okay, so we're good to here. Now, again, probably... Here, let's get this stuff out of the way because it's preventing me from positioning myself. Okay. <clears throat> Are those just windows? No, there's, they're definitely closets, but I can't seem to break them. All right, well, we got one dude to come out. Come on. Construction worker. What were you doing in that closet here in the strip joint? Never mind. I don't want to know. All right, so I only see two more red dots left. Um, I'd like to kind of approach the room from this side because we have this entryway. If we go through the front way, there's a lot more room for... Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get this... This sill off. There we go. That way we can put that down. Okay. So two red dots that way. So there's no more red dots over in those closets. Where the hell are these guys at? Keep forgetting about that trash. Nice. Two things we definitely need. Might as well grab the loot while we're here, eh? A 9mm weapons to grade 20% slower. A nice iron breaker mod. And no 762. Come on, give me some 762. Damage him? 
Is there a Zeke right behind this crate? Yeah, no. They must be in the ceiling. Oh, look, there's a weapons bag up there. In the ceiling or on the roof or something. Mr. Cuffs, bow crafting, and it's amazing that we can sell. Let's get rid of a couple things while we're here, just to keep keep the space in good shape. I don't give a shit about a hop seat. Our satchel's in here. Do we get it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, these guys, they have to be on the roof. I don't know where else they would be, because we've pretty much been through this whole place. And I would like to get to that weapons bay. So does that mean we go, is there a way to get up? Do we climb up the stripper pole? Don't know that I've ever done that before. <laughs> um, How do we get up there? Is there like a an obvious way up on the roof? We already checked you, right? Okay. I don't know what kind of shenanigans are gonna happen up here, so let's get this this weapon ready. See, they're down inside the attic somewhere. It's just not obvious to me how you get there. They're not, so okay, so they're not on the roof itself. I'm just gonna kinda be noisy now. See if we can get them to fall through. There we go. There we go, okay. Mr. Ronnie McDonnie, I'm not too worried about him. We get the other one to fall through. Oh shit. Nurse Nancy. And we're done. Did I check this? I did not. Yeah, that's a lot of money to be missing out on. Okay, uh, we can't do anything about that. Let's go do our turn in and see if we can get that green bow. Howdy. How I get you, today? Well, you can get me a well, bunch of, I think we'll take the Molotovs. I mean, you know, the magazines are always good. We don't need the helmet light. Um, well, no, let's take the crafting skill magazines. Hey, hey, look at that. We're done. Okay. So what do we want here? Range mods, scrap armor, melee mods, 10 lockpicks, or the food bundle. None of those are like super awesome. <laughs> um, we could we could start doing heavy armor, I suppose, and this will should probably give us a full set. Uh, I think that's what we'll do. So yeah, we'll take the scrap armor bonus bundle. All right, um, let's take a look at your inventory, and we want to sell you a couple of things. We want to sell that. I want to keep the steel club parts. Actually, I think that's all that I want to sell. 
So that gives us enough money to buy the boat. There we go. Look at that. A green wooden bow. Safe travel. Significant upgrade from what we have. All right, let's um take the stuff off of here and the arrows off of it. There's our comparison. So it's over 10 points better uh, in damage as well as the other stuff than the blue bow was. Okay, nice. So I don't like that. We'll buy this guy. We have another mod slot too that we can put something there. Um, this we can't sell, but you know what? I might hang on to it as a backup. Okay, let's um, open the magazines first. So we get two knife guys, two wiring, and two cooking. Okay, and then we'll open this. And, ooh, that's pretty decent stuff. And we'll learn all of those. Okay, so we are now going to transition, ladies and gentlemen, into the heavy armor era. We're getting tougher. We got a little bit better weaponry. And even though the armor will slow us down, it'll also make us a lot tougher. All right, so what I'm going to do now is get all this stuff put over here. Um, which one of these is better? They are exactly the same. These we should repair and sell. Um, but I might want to wait and see if I have a mod I can put on those. Because um, these mods, of course, we're going to put on our current armor. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a workbench so that we can then uh, start making ourselves some ammunition. I want to put the bandolier on that. That's, a, that's really nice, actually. I mean, for where we're currently at, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so we are substantially tougher now, but also slower and a little bit less stamina. But we can take some hits, so it's a it's a decent trade-off. All right, guys, so I'm going to gather up all the resources I need to make a workbench, and then I'm going to start whoa, uh, working on making some ammunition. I also have the skill to make an orange or a level 2 AK, but I don't know if I have enough parts for that, so... If I do have enough parts for that, then we will um, we'll get that done too. And I'm going to hang on to my current set of armor at, you know, just as a backup. Well, actually, that doesn't make sense though, does it? Because if we die, we're <laughs> we're done. Yeah. Well, okay. In that case, I'll I'll just sell it then. Uh, we could put the skull cap mod on too. Um, that'll help, especially when we go up into the snow. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to have backups of anything, does it? Because if we die, it's over. So, I'll have to think about that. Anyways, um, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember, I am out of town uh, for this entire week. I'll be back on the evening of the 23rd and expect to have the next video out on the 24th. Unless I can get one more out before I leave. Um, you'll, you guys will know that if it happens. If it doesn't, then I'll see you guys in a week. Bye-bye. Thank you.